In this video, I demonstrate how to create a background video in Bubble. Um, and uh, this is in response to a comment we've received on YouTube. So thanks to everyone who's leaving comments and video requests. Uh, we read all of them uh, and uh, we try and actually turn around a video response uh, to a topic as quickly as we can. Um, so uh, let me demonstrate what this looks like on the uh, front end and um, show you the different components to it. So. Uh, the requirements uh, that I've laid out is that my video needs to be full width and it also needs to be 100% of the viewport height. Uh, and um, I'm going to walk you through the, uh, the code snippet um, that I've created and placed inside an HTML element uh, and explain each part to you um, as we go along. So hopefully you can copy it and build this up in your own app. So uh, let's start at the top of the page. Um, my page is using the new response engine and my layout is aligned to parent. Uh, and and that's, going, that's important because that's going to allow me to place content on top of the video, which I'll demonstrate at the end of the video. Um, and then inside and um, positioned in the middle, uh, I have got an HTML element. Uh, for some reason, when you uh, create an HTML element, at least I find this um, bubble applies some default padding, um, which will uh, mean you can't get your edge to edge uh, look. So make sure you set your, your padding to zero on, on the um, vertical and the horizontal. Uh, and then let's dig in to this HTML snippet uh, and I'll explain each part to you. So we have got a video tag, uh, which opens here and closes there. And then within that, we have a source tag, which opens and closes that. Um, so working from the top, uh, we've got autoplay, means that when the page loads, uh, the video starts playing. We have muted, uh, so the video has any sound. Uh, it's by default set to mute, the browser picks that up. Uh, the video loops, self-explanatory, and then plays in line. And uh, in my experience, two of the, the key points here to getting your video uh, to work well on mobile um, is the uh, muted and the plays in line. Uh, I know from experience with iOS that plays in line, you have to include this attribute here, otherwise the video won't auto play on iOS. It's also worth mentioning when you test this that I believe uh, again on iOS that if you have uh, the battery uh, saver mode activated, then actually Safari doesn't auto play um, background videos. Uh, so those are each of those attributes there. We then have uh, some custom CSS and uh, I'll explain each part to you. So the height is set to 100% uh, of the, the viewport height. Um, that's how I ensure my video goes all the way down. Uh, and just so you're aware, because I have the, the, the uh, debug mode enabled, that explains the white gap at the bottom. Uh, and it's also making space for this bar. Um, and then we've got the width 100% because I'm using the bubble uh, new response engine. My page's width is always going to be 100% of the browser window. Um, Z index, uh, if you imagine that your uh, website or your web app is made of layers, uh, different elements layered on top of each other, um, your Z index describes where in the hierarchy an element comes. Um, and so because this is a background, I want to ensure that nothing goes behind it and everything goes in front of it. So I've given it a Z index of minus one. Um, Bubble handles most of this automatically if you were creating like a, a floating group uh, for a header. Um, but uh, just for your information, if you were wanting to, you know, you're building it from, from scratch using HTML and CSS, uh, another example would be your, your header bar might be Z index 1000 to ensure that uh, it floats on top of everything. But because I want this to be behind, uh, I've made it Z index minus one. And then lastly, so that my video is responsive, I have uh, added in um, here uh, object fit cover. This is to ensure that as my browser window is again to be fully responsive, if it was to stretch uh, wider or higher, that um, the, the video still fills all the space that I want it to because the video has got an aspect ratio um, and I don't want the video to be like squished or squeezed or stretched. And so in fact, when the, um, the viewport width changes, I want the video to be cropped rather than creating a white space or stretching or squeezing the video. 
Um, we then have source, and uh, it's yeah. I should have pointed this out at the start. Your video has to be uh, in well. In fact, it'd be advised that you have uploaded your video somewhere uh, in an MP4 format. Um, I've just uh, linked through to a, um, a stock video website called Cover for this demonstration, um, but here is the source of that video file, and I've placed it in there. So you could upload this um, to your own web hosting, to Bubble. Um, this isn't going to work for a YouTube video. You can't uh, at least um, this this route here is the simplest approach uh, than trying to put a YouTube embed and messing with the Z index there and having it auto play now just have it so that you've hosted the video somewhere whether on bubble or or a like a hot link into a dropbox uh, or your own web hosting um so that you can link straight through to the source file and then last bit here is type i'm declaring to the web browser uh, the type of content and that it's video and it's mp4 so the real strength of doing it like this is that i can begin to build up a uh, a hero um, section here on my website so um, ooh, so I can have some welcome text um, and I'll just center that and make it white and uh, if I give that a refresh so bubble uh, if, well, yeah, so Bubble knows that the Z index is going to be higher than minus one, so that's why the, the text appears in front. Um, if I wanted to uh, build out a more of like a, a group section here, um, so I've got a line to parent, which means that any other elements that I add here are going to appear on top of each other. Uh, and so the way to get around that would be to create a group, um, like a column group here, uh, and then adjust the the height and that then allows me to um, and then center that okay and I could even go as far as oh, just clicks in the background I could go as far as uh, setting the Given that, oh no, so actually I want, I want it to be dark, don't I? There we go. Um, and then let's add some padding. And refresh that. Okay, and there you go. So hopefully, I've demonstrated uh, the code snippet required to add uh, a background video using HTML. I've explained why each part of it is required. Uh, if you've got any questions, please uh, leave it in the comments uh, and uh, we'll get back to you as quickly as possible.